Hey, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So today's morning messages or my morning meditations and devotions led to some amazing things. I feel like I say that every every morning to you all, but um, no, this one really spoke to me. And I think it was because there are times where I can just feel this pure happiness for no reason at all. Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Um, like this morning when I first woke up and got my coffee, I, I always put music on in the morning. And I was just dancing around, like ballerina kind of dancing. And, you know, I'm just like, it's great energy to be having, but I'm like, where's this coming from? Um, and I really think it's having to do with awakening our souls. You know, it's like, that's the card I pulled today. And, you know, again, there's about 50, no, I'm sorry, about a hundred, um, cards in this little booklet. And I'll do a lot of different readings. You know, I mentioned that I do have some, um, religious books as well as spiritual, but this channel or the L daily messages, really, I want it to be more about our spiritual journeys and growing together in that way. So if you are on this channel, you're probably one that is in this spiritual growth journey. Um, and uh, I think this is great. We can all really help each other by inspiring and elevating our own lives. Um, you know, of course, I, you know me, I love to focus on my design, decor, mindset. I have a lot of passions. But I think my biggest passion is really helping others to find their own self-love and that happiness day to day. So that's what we're really going to focus on, at least in the interim until I figure out where I really want to take this channel, right? The biggest thing is just connecting with you daily. So here we go. Awakening. It's all about, I am joyless. I am joyously, I can't talk today. I'm joylessly awake and aware and ready for anything. So yeah, I think that's why I'm just it's so true. I'm feeling just happy. So the card meaning, it's time to wake up, step out of your routine and notice what's truly occurring around you. Don't be lulled into complacency. Awaken your potential and power. Move, shake, and take action. So in my case, dance. Um, you're opening to your true spiritual path. So your soul wants you to know the forces of the universe are propelling you in a direction of your destiny. You're awakening to your higher self and spiritual vibrations. This card appears when you're ready to be aware and notice things as they really are. Take off your blinders. See what's important. Uh, see what's important in your life. Search for the essence of what's true, authentic, and real. So again, the affirmation, I am joyously awake and aware and ready for anything. So let me know in the comments if you're kind of feeling this way. Even if you've had, you know, the last few days I've been talking about my little sadness with the crush nut moving forward and not knowing what happened there. But, um, you know, you might have something else that you were disappointed in. And, you know, there's always every day is a new beginning, right? So I think it's a great reset and a, a reminder that we're continually awakening to the future and what is ahead, as well as enjoying that present, though, because you do want to hone in on that um, as well. Because I think I've, I brought that up before. Like if I were in my 20s, when I really thought about some of the things I wanted in my 20s and now hear me in my 40s. Um, if I wouldn't have enjoyed that present moment along the way, I would have missed out on all the things that I thought I needed at that very moment. Um, but I think I've always been pretty good about really embracing what the current situation is, but also looking ahead to your dreams in your future, because there is that balance. You've got to have a little bit of both. So um, the card that I pulled for the um, kind of reflection, what to reflect on, is all about our past, actually. So my past brought me to where I am, and I'm proud of that fact. So I always look at the past for a couple things. If it brings you joy and happiness and you're remembering good things, like I've got so many good memories growing up, great memories with my grandparents that have now passed, but, you know, so many um, joys from the past that are great to kind of think about. But if there's maybe something from your past that you feel regret or remorseful from, maybe there's some shame and guilt, you got to let that go and also know that, Everything that happened in your past has brought you to where you are today. So it's okay to um, to kind of look at it and be proud, you know, even if it's a negative, uh, negative event. You know, maybe you didn't grow up in the best home. Maybe you didn't get a lot of love and affirmation from your parents. Maybe you've had some really traumatic relationships. You know, all of these things kind of take us to where we are today. So if you can kind of honor that um, and look to what the lessons were, it really helps. So at least... It helps me. So here's some questions to think on with that. Is there anything in my past that I regret? I know I have tons of things that I regret, but I'm such a believer that everything happens for a reason that yes, there might be some regret, regret and I'm like, oh, maybe I could have done things a little differently here or there. But I think, you know, our path chooses us. Um, I also believe there is some destiny involved too, but um, 
yeah, I, I don't know. What, let me know what you think. I know we all have different views on it, and that's the beautiful thing. So, so yeah, is there anything in my past that I regret? Journal that or just think about it. And how can I come to terms and accept those things? So I guess I already answered that question for you all. Like, yeah, I've definitely had some regrets in some of my days. Um, but I also come to terms when I am able to think, well, I think everything happens for a reason. These um, moments and maybe these lessons um, are all opportunities to grow and to just, yeah, become better versions of ourselves. I know I say that a lot, but that's really what this journey is about. So, okay, so the um, uh, quote of the day, I'm going to read that. And it's a good one too. I don't always have to be right. I easily admit when I'm wrong and I'm grateful for the chance to learn. So that can also be about the past. Maybe there was something in your past, like a past argument or something that you just didn't want to let go. It's like, these are my beliefs. This is how I feel. I'm right. You're wrong. I don't know. The older I get, the more I'm like, okay, if somebody tells me the sky is green, I will just say yes. It's not worth, it's not worth an argument sometimes, especially this day and age with how much we've got going on the political side of things. Um, it's just not worth the fight to me. It's like, you can have your beliefs and that's fine. And I have mine, but I'm going to try to seek to understand, but I'm also going to just, you know, move on from trying to get in an argument because it just, it's not worth my time. So yeah. And, and think of those, like, if you know that you were wrong, admit it, just say, Hey, you know what? I took a chance to really think about what I said and did. And I'm sorry, I, I do think, I see your point and I just, I want to apologize and ask for forgiveness and move on from it. Like it's not worth holding these grudges. Um, so maybe you've got a relationship that you need to mend. Uh, that's just something to consider. Is it always worth being right? Or maybe if you are right and they're wrong, can you still move on from it even and just ask for forgiveness and just push it away? Or maybe there are people that you've already retired and you're like, you know what, I don't need them in my life. That's, that's fine too. You do have to look out for number one and not everybody is always meant to be a part of our journey. So, um, so the affirmation again that goes with all of these today uh, for today, I never lose, I either win or learn. And so I love this. This goes kind of back to your past. You know, like if you look at a regret that you might have, yes, um, it's the way that you look at it right? So you're either going to win if something good happened from, from the event, or you're going to learn from the event. So gosh, I have a really embarrassing thing that I did. It's not embarrassing. It's actually just terrible back in my sales early days, like one that maybe wasn't the best character of what I did. And I did feel so bad, such guilt, such uh, shame. And I remember thinking like, if I would have looked at it in a way that that's the way I was going to continue, could have been very destructive, but I looked at it and I'm like, I am never going to let something like that happen again. You know, I didn't feel honest. I felt, I just felt shady. And, um, yeah, it was what in my early twenties. So long time ago, over 20 years ago, but I looked at it as like, I'm going to learn from the situation and, um, move on from it and be a better person. So I'm sure we all have things that we can think about that, but what, what opportunity, um, can you look at where instead of feeling terrible about it, flip it to see, well, what, what can I learn from it? And if you win, you already win. So that's great. So yeah, today was just kind of short and sweet. I'm going to keep it that way. Um, I will come back with some more fun information tomorrow. We'll see. Sometimes I like to put more, um, in it with my current life situation. And right now, all I can say is I've been dancing a lot and a lot of happy joy coming through. So hopefully you're experiencing that. Um, and if you've got anything that you need to release and let go to start something new, do it. Journal about what you want to bring in and what you want to let go. All right. Sending you all so much love and I will see you tomorrow.